Okay, this is part two of creating an MP Lab X project. Uh, looking back over the last recording, one of the things that I forgot to mention was that when we were given uh, the project a name, we should have selected the actual folder MP Lab X to put the project in. Now, luckily, my folder was selected by default because I've used this folder before, but in your case, you should maybe go back and check the project is actually in the desired folder. So you can see all my MP Lab X projects are in the same folder here. Uh, down here is the one that I've most recently created called carpark.x. So in here these are the folders that have been created by, by default. Now one of the first things that we need to set up for our new project is the configuration bits for the for the PIC18 microcontroller. The configuration bits are bits that are programmed during programming time that uh, select various features regarding the PIC, for example how it's clocked, uh, power modes, how pins are assigned, things like that. And unfortunately if you don't get the configuration bits right, uh, it can cause problems down the line in terms of your program not behaving as you think it should. So you can see that in, in all my other projects here, for example, I have a file called configuration bits. Uh, over here, say for example, the timer project as well, I also have a file called configuration bits. You know, because I've used the PIC18 F4520 for all these projects, I could copy this configuration bits file and just paste it into the car park uh, folder. But rather than do that, I'm going to show you how to actually, how I created this configuration bits file in the first place, because MP Lab X is a nice feature to allow you to set up the configuration bits. So here is, uh, just for comparison, is the configuration bits file that I created earlier open. But I'm going to show you how, how we created this. Uh, sorry. Just want to move it over here. Okay, so I've minimized the MP Lab X tool to show the, this previously created configuration file at the same time. Uh, we need to show down here the configuration uh, window that allows us to set up the configuration bits. So we choose a, let me try and remember this. Mm, let's see. Okay, so we choose pick memory views. You can see there's different uh, views here of the microcontroller, the program memory, SFRs. Uh, data memory etc but the one we're interested in the moment is configuration bits now you can see we've got the various config uh, registers these are the addresses in the program memory and these are the various options available so this is why I have the previously created file open so that I just make sure that I, I, I select the right options ones that I know work for the particular project I'm we're going to develop so the oscillator I'm choosing is high speed oscillator uh, FCM fail safe clock monitor off power up timer enable bit off brownout off so the brownout voltage doesn't matter watchdog timer off uh, CCP mux bit this can be CCP pin can be mux to port C or port B or E so we've selected port C not overly important unless we are going to use the CCP function later on same with the port B, uh, AD enable bits, that's off. The M clear is on, so in other words we want a reset pin. STV stack full overflow is on. Low voltage programming is off. And all the other configuration bits in the configuration registers are off. When we finished selecting the various bits correctly, hopefully, we go down here, we say generate source code to output. And this is our file that hopefully should compare with the one I have here on the left. Now we just need to create a new C file to put this information into. So we go to the source files, file, new file, C file, it's just a C source file as opposed to a main file. Next. We call it configuration.
bits. Finish. Unfortunately, then we have to actually copy and uh, copy this information. Copy into this newly created C file. So there's a configuration bits set up. And also you can see that the configuration bits.c file is included in the source file folder. Obviously to continue with the project the next step will be creating a main a C main file, which is a main application program. Okay, and we'll continue this maybe in part three. Sorry, just to finish, if we go back and look at the car parks folder in our Windows Explorer, we can see car park. We can see here we have also the C file configuration bits now in the folder. Our main application C file will also be in this folder when we create.